Payan flinched and the water splashed on the counter from the glass she was holding. She again heard the sound of breaking glass and looked at the last maid who was packing her stuff to leave. What's this sound? I think master is already here. I should leave. She picked her bag and quickly made her way to the door. She again flinched as glasses were breaking one over another continuously. She gulped and with a beating heart, she slowly made her way to the room from where the sounds were coming. She saw Lee Jung standing in front of her room from where the sound is coming while the door was closed. As soon as his eyes shifted to her, his expressions changed. Didn't you sleep yet? He didn't answer him and walked near him looking at the door. What is happening? Is Jungkook here? You finally looked at him but he looked calm as if it's not a big deal. There's nothing. You should go and sleep. You again heard a loud thud as if someone banged on the table hardly. You grabbed the door knob but Lee Jungi grabbed your hand. What are you doing? I'm going to see what is happening. He wins. Are you serious? Go back to your room. You jerked his hand. You should have stopped it earlier. You unlocked the door and went inside. Right when you stepped inside, a gasp left from your mouth. The room was a mess. The floor was all covered with pieces of bottles and a liquid which came out of them. There's this room in his house where he has collection of all the expensive drink all over the world. It's funny to say but you can't even find these much drinks in a bar. You lift up your head and your eyes met his dark orbs. He swallowed hard because he was looking insanely dangerous. His face covered with sweat and sweat dripping from his hairs. You instantly regretted your decision of stepping inside but now it's too late. You quickly looked away. What are you doing here? He said in his husky voice sending shivers down to your spine. You didn't say anything and your eyes were fixed on the floor. Aren't you listening? He said making his way towards you while the fear again occupied your body just like any other time whenever you face, you face him. I thought you paused making him raise his eyebrow. You thought he was waiting for you to complete the sentence but you just looked down while your eyes landed at his hand which was bleeding terribly. Your hand is bleeding. He followed your eyes and looked at his palm which was bleeding from all the destruction he has caused. Jungkook looked at his hand and then at you. Then he chuckled. You're sounding like a very sweet and caring wife who is worried about her husband. It feels so satisfying. Here, treat it for me. He said extending his hand towards you while you look slowly at him. First aid box is here. He pointed at the, his death. You remained in the same position for some time but then you decided to treat his palm because a lot of blood already came out of it. You carefully made your way to his desk. You took out the first aid box from the drawer and came near him. First, you hesitated to sit next to him but then decided to sit as it's just a matter of treating his hand. He extended his hand. You dipped the cotton in antiseptic and held his hand. His eyes were fixed on you. You know what? If I get to see this side of you, I'm ready to hurt myself every day. Your hand stopped in the middle but then you ignored and again started cleaning his palm. You were trying to pull the pieces of glass which was stabbed inside his palm and he winced slightly making you look at him. I'm sorry. He shook his head and signed you to pull it off completely. Go on, 
You nodded and closed your eyes, pulling it off from his hand. Are you okay? He nodded, then he started applying ointment. Why did you come here? You swallowed but didn't look at him. There was a silence for some time. You finished dressing his palm and then looked at him. You hesitated but then spoke. Did something happen? You are looking upset. You don't know from where did you get the courage to ask this to him. He looked at you surprised for a second and then let out a sarcastic laugh making you a bit terrified. Did you just ask me what happened? Did you really notice the sadness in my eyes? Wow. He ran his finger through his head and looked at you. Making me fall in love with you more sweetheart. It feels like a dream where you are actually behaving like a wife and damn, I'll be wrong if I say I'm not happy. Do you really want to know what happened? You didn't utter a word. The woman who gave birth to me, she died today. Your heart dropped listening to that. You looked at him as if you are sorry for his loss. Although you have never heard about her from Jungkook, in fact you didn't know that he had a mother but now you are feeling sorry for him. Don't pass me this pitiful look because I am not at all sad. Beside the fact that she gave birth to me, she was nothing more than that. In fact, I am happy that she died. He looked at him in disbelief. How can he even say those things to the woman who brought him in this world and raised him? But again, you really don't know, want to know anything about him, anything which is related to him. You hate me because of the kind of person I am, right? You again looked up at him when he suddenly brought this topic. Do you think I have always wanted to become a mafia? No matter how much I have tried, but I can't help but ending up here because it's in my blood I had inherited from my father. And I had to admit it that a mafia son can only become a mafia just like his father. I got up massaging my tempers. I stared at the wall in front of me for some time thinking about the dream I just had. To be honest, it was not a dream. Only the thing happened with me in that house came in my dreams. Everything is pretty normal now except those memories. It's been more than a month, probably two. I haven't heard of Jungkook. Slowly, slowly my fear is reducing. Maybe he didn't search for me. After that day, maybe he set me free. I don't know anything could happen. I took a deep breath and looked at the clock. Oh no, not again. I woke up late today as well. I fixed my bed and went up downstairs. Good morning, Unni. You said coming inside the kitchen while heard someone clear his throat. You looked at Kang Jun who was sitting, setting the table. Good morning, Wayan. He said in a mocking way because you didn't notice him. You chuckled. Good morning. I thought you already went to work. You said nervously laughing. It's weekend. Oh. You sat on the chair. Guys, what I'm thinking is, it's weekend so why not go on a dinner tonight? She said placing the pot on the table excitedly. Wow, that's a great idea. I've already made plans. Yeji looked at him excited. Wow, I didn't expect it from you but I'm happy. So it's final. You laughed looking her excitement. So where are we going? Sorry to kill your excitement Luna but it's only me and Ryan. She looked at him in disbelief. Seriously, you guys are going without me? She looked at you with the same expression while you shook your head. I have no idea on me. You both looked at Kang Joon. It's my idea. I'm taking her for dinner. Your cheeks turned red. Wait, let me just guess. 
Are you two dating? OMG, is it a dinner date? Your eyes widen and face red in embarrassment. Only this before you finish Kangjun interrupted in middle. You can think that way. You looked at Kangjun with white eyes, who just winked at you, making you more red. Are you blushing, Lion? Your attention went to her while Kangjun chuckled. No, I'm not. You said, looking down, trying to hide your face while she laughed. You should have told me earlier about your relationship. You guys made me a little disappointed. She said, pouting a little. Even I didn't know. I think I'll call my boyfriend tonight here. You guys won't be home, right? You don't want us to come home tonight, right? He said in a teasing way while you laughed. I also want to spend time with my man, you know, she said rolling her eyes. You guys should get married. It's been so long you are dating since high school. I know, but that guy has no time for all this. I think I might have wait for another eternity. You laughed. Can we just eat now? I'm so hungry. He said, tapping his spoon on plate. Oh yes, yes. You all started eating, but then Yeji looked at you, who was just playing with chopsticks. Aren't you eating? Hurry up, or else it will get cold. He sighed and looked at her. Only look at me. Don't you think I have put on some weight? She scrunched her face, totally confused. What are you talking? You are looking absolutely fine. You shook your head. No, Unni. See my cheeks become chubby and my belly is coming out too. He said in a little whisper because you were embarrassed talking about it in front of Kangjun, but he laughed. Why are you laughing? How can I resist this overloaded cuteness? You are looking more beautiful than before. Thanks, Tona. You are feeding my girlfriend well. Your cheeks turn tomato red. Girlfriend, oh ho, you felt like hiding yourself somewhere. Can you guys stop now? They laughed and Yeji put an egg in your plate. You should eat properly and you're gorgeous. I don't want to see you becoming like a stick again. Eat well, my dear sister-in-law. Oh, me, you all started laughing. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. You said covering your mouth with both of your hands while Kang Jun smiled looking at you. Thank god you liked it. I was so panicked that if you like it or not. This is beautiful. You both slide into the booth and took your seats. Kang Jun in front of you. It was one of the best things. Thanks for this. Why are you saying we are on a date? Didn't I have told you earlier? You look down feeling all shy. It's not even long and you already started flirting. You are looking so beautiful in this dress. Thank you. Should we order something first? You nodded. Soon the waiter came and took your orders. 
You both will laughing and talking, enjoying the best time of your life. He always make you smile and make you forget everything which bothers you. Um, I need to use the washroom. He nodded while you smiled and slide out of the booth. You washed your hands and looked yourself in the mirror. A very beautiful smile was scrapped on your lips. Everything feels good now. Everything feels worth living. You always wanted to experience this sweet life with someone you love, and Kang Jun is that someone who is giving you all this happiness. You fixed your hair and looked yourself in the mirror. The door of one stall opened and a lady came out. She started washing her hands, but then her eyes landed on you. You are looking so happy. How many weeks? You gave her a confused look, unable to get her words. As she finished washing her hands and grabbed a towel to wipe them. Let me guess, sixteen weeks, right? Your belly started showing. She said, pointing towards your belly. I I'm not pregnant. You said, making yourself clear as you were wondering what caused her to think that you're pregnant. What? Her face was showing embarrassment as well as confusion at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought by looking at your stomach. I'm really sorry. She didn't able to stand there and rushed outside. You looked yourself in the mirror and put your hand on your belly. Why she said that? You okay? You looked at him and nodded. The food is here. You nodded and picked the spoon, but you already lost your appetite. You were just thinking about the words of that lady the whole time. Unni, where are you going? We are running out of snacks, and there's literally nothing for our movie night tonight. So gotta go and grab something. You enjoy. Your show. I'll be back soon. Unni, she looked back at you while you turned off the TV and stood from the couch. Can I go and buy instead? I mean, you have so much work, so let me do it. She looked at you for a second and then shrugged her shoulders. Okay, if you want to, she gave you the bag and you just smiled. You were standing freeze in the middle of the sidewalk. It felt like if you took a step forward, you'll fall. You came out with an aim of something else, as buying snack was only an excuse. You bought a pregnancy test device from a medical store and did your pregnancy test in public washroom. From the day that lady in the restaurant washroom mentioned about your pregnancy, you were only thinking about that, but you didn't tell that to anyone because you wanted to confirm yourself first. And the test came positive. There's literally nothing in your mind except fear, fear of Jungkook again, fear that what will happen if he come to know about it, and anger that he did that against your will. Tears escaped from your eyes. He never considered you his wife. He only used your body just to satisfy his masculine urges. He did whatever he wanted with you, as if you are not a human. Thinking about all these things made you feel disgusting. You wanted to rip your body as you again started hating every thought which was crossing your mind. You flinched and came out of your thoughts when you heard your phone burst. You took a deep breath and took it out from your pocket. You looked at the caller ID and swallowed, clearing your throat. Yes, Unni. Even after trying so hard, your voice came out in the most saddest whisper. Are you okay, Vyan? Did something happen? You took so long. She said, showing her concern from the other side of the phone. Everything is fine, Unni. I was just wandering around, so it got late. You said, biting your lower lip, trying so hard not to cry. Oh, okay. I was just asking. Now come quickly. Kang Jun has also came. We are waiting. 
Yes, you pressed your lips together and wiped the tear which fell down to your cheek. There's no way I'll let this child come in this world. Unni, I'm back. You entered in the living room but confused to see no one there. Are you in the kitchen, Unni? You, s you said a little louder but got no response. Kang Chun, you put the bag on table and went towards kitchen to see them. Why aren't you guys answering? Unni, Kang Jun. You checked them in the kitchen upstairs but didn't find. Now you started getting panic. Stop it both of you. You know that I don't like these kind of pranks. It's not funny. Please come out. You checked Yeji's room but they were not there too so you had towards Kang Jun's room as your heart was beating faster. You guys better stop it now. I'm scared. Please come out. You opened the door and held. Your body froze on its place. Eyes wide open and the fear took over its control once again. Your eyes stuck on the figure sitting on the chair while spreading his hands both sides and looking at you with a grin as if he was just waiting for you. Will you not going to respond me? He asked firmly but my heart is shivering in fear. I lowered my eyes and counted him. He's lying on the floor. He's not moving. What he did to count him? He's bleeding. I wanted to scream but my voice is lost somewhere. Then my eyes fall on Unni. She's sitting on the edge of the bed, quiet. She's not seeing anything in fact, her face is wet from tears. She's crying silently. She's afraid. I am afraid. It's been so long. I missed you a lot. Didn't you miss me too, baby? He stood up and made his way towards you, meanwhile you wanted to run as far as you can but your feet glued to the floor. He came closer to you. I thought to give you a surprise so I just came by myself. I didn't able to live without you anymore. He tucked a string of hair behind your ear, sending chills down to your spine. You become even more beautiful. I would be lying if I say I didn't get the most beautiful wife in the world. But you know what? You are more stubborn than any other woman. You always do things which pisses me off. Again no response. You are just silently looking at the unconscious figure of Kang Jun. You wanted to scream and call the ambulance because he has already lost so much blood and not even sure if he's still alive or not. Don't worry, I didn't shoot him yet, but he's soon going to die because even after my warning, he dared to lay his dirty hands on something which is completely mine. Your eyes widen and you shook your head. Don't shook your head, sweetheart, because if you beg for him again, I swear I'll finish him right here. You girl. His eyes traveled to your belly and again at your face as he smiled again. Do you think I didn't know what were you doing all this time and that you're here? But I didn't come here. Wanna know why? 
I just wanted to see how far you can go when I'm not around and hell I was lying if I say I didn't got thought of killing you when you kissed this. You forgot whom you belong to and then you even thought that you can escape from me and that I wouldn't come to get you back. Your eyes got moist and tears started falling. He cupped your face and wiped them with his thumb. These tears are of no use, sweetheart. You are not even trying. You are repeating the same thing again and again. I'm sorry. I'm ready to go with you. He released your face and started laughing like a psycho. And you really know how to make a fool out of me. Oh sweetheart, do you think I came here to take you? Your eyebrows frowned in confusion while he looked at you. I don't come here to take you, instead I'm here to tell you that no matter in the world you hide yourself, you can't hide from me, plus whoever comes closer to you will choke to death. Wanna see how? He went near Kangjun and stepped on his hand mercilessly. He then looked at you who was continuously shaking his her head telling him to stop. 